welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and what I've got today is this pebble making mould. Now I know this is really designed for concrete but I thought perhaps I could do a couple in polyurethane resin to see how they come out and I thought they'd be great for decorating up and then I thought I could make some really pretty ones using maybe some glitter, some crinkled up plastic and some other bits and pieces. I think they'd make fun little gifts. I will be using this as well on my other channel for making some little soaps in and also making some out of concrete. Check out my other channel and you'll probably see me making some on that channel as well. I'll put the link for my other channel in the description below. Well, I've got all my resin mixed up and the first one I'm going to do is a cold casting one. Now I love cold casting and I'm sure you've seen me do cold casting before. I think it comes out beautiful. So I'm brushing in the aluminium powder onto the mould and I'm leaving it quite thick. And you don't have to knock out what you've got in there if there's any excess because it just absorbs into the actual PU resin. Now I'm putting in quite a nice dollop of that powder into here, mixed it all up, and as soon as you mix it, pour it, because then it keeps nicely suspended. I'm pouring that right up to the very top, and this won't take long to cure up either, which is great. It'll only take about an hour. And now the second one with the PU resin, I'm using sand, because I really like sand in resin moulds and things. I think it gives a great effect, and I'm hoping it's going to look more like a natural bevel, but it might not. So giving that a good mix in. Now remember, when you mix sand into resin, any resin, it will give bubbles. So make sure that you go over it afterwards to get rid of any of the bubbles that come up. So filling up that mould. There we go. So I'm now burning off the bubbles that have come up. I will add a little bit more sand to the top of this one just to give it a little bit of extra. But it actually still gets a bit of the PU resin on the bottom of that one. So here we go with the glitter. You gotta love the glitter. And this is just a black glitter, no colors or anything in this, just a black fine glitter. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's bought me a coffee last month and your names are coming up on the board now. And anybody buying me a coffee this month, the money will go towards my new roof on my resin studio. Unfortunately, the wind the other day ripped the roof off. <laughs> So here we go, one of my favourite pours here is where I just pour it so you get a nice line and then keep mixing up the actual resin colours so you go from one to the other and it does give a great effect, especially if you pour a little bit of clear on the top at the end because that kind of pulls those colours down. Really is a great effect. I've, I've used that before and I do love that effect. I'm also going to pour a clear one because I want to see what the clear ones look like and the clear ones could be really useful for adding things afterwards or engraving onto. So there we go, that's a nice clear one. And I'm obviously using here the resin color art resin, which is brilliant resin, the best on the market. And if you can't get hold of that, I will link for America and Canada and other countries a resin that I've also tried that is excellent as well. This one is a clear transparent pigment but unfortunately I think I put too much in you'll see at the end and now what I'm going to do is let these cure up. Well my pebbles are all cured up now I'm really quite excited to see what these are going to look like. The first one I'm going to demold is the clear one oh, and they definitely are pebbles They're, there's no doubt about it. I think that's come out really really well and what I would do with that one is probably engrave something on it or I would add some decal from vinyl on it. I'm going to make these as well out of a concrete plaster mix on my other channel. If you want to check out my other channel, which is all about crafting, then the link for that is in the description below. Oh, that one's quite nice. Now, I used a more of a transparent colour for that to give it more of a transparent -y look, but I think I put too much in because it is still quite dark. do like it. Here's me multicoloured one. Oh, yeah, that came out really nice. I think that looks more like a, a pebble, to be honest, with that type of look to it. Oh, I am, I, I am so impressed with this mould. I love it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Me glittery one. Oh, that's come out nice. Lovely glitter. Love me glitter. And that was a micro glitter. So these are the PU resin ones. That's the cold casting one I did. This is the one I did with sand. I'm loving the sand one. How beautiful did that one come out? Wow. As always with cold casting, you need to go over it with a little bit of wire wool. So look at it now. 
and then look at what happens once I go over it with some wire wool. If I just do this first half, then you'll see the difference. Look at that. It just brings it up lovely and makes it look like it's fully made of metal. Do a whole thing now. Do some of them edges. That has a nice weight to it too. Oh, I love that. I do love that. I think that's come out beautiful. If you'd like to learn more about cold casting, then I'll link a video on how to do some other cold casting projects directly after this video. So don't forget to click on that video, tap on it, and then it will load that video up for you. If you'd like to get hold of this mould, then I'll link that in the description below. Don't worry, along with the link to my other channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have and you like these, then please boop that like button. It really does help my videos to get out there. Let me know which is your favourite in the comments below. I would be really interested to know. I think my favourites are those three. Definitely. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.